The Credo Series is a comprehensive presentation of the Catholic faith for high school students that meets the needs of 21st century learners. The Credo Series opens high school students to an understanding of the richness of the Catholic faith tradition and challenges them to live it. It provides young people with a faith-centered framework within which they will find meaning and purpose for their lives. For our boys, I hope that through our religion classes, they feel they have a closer connection with God, that they feel more comfortable expressing that connection and sharing their journey uh, openly. The Credo series takes as its starting point the lived experience of the students and challenges them to make their lives a lived response to the teachings of the Catholic Church. The series, edited by Thomas Groom, brings the power of shared Christian praxis to a high school curriculum for the first time. Shared Christian praxis is a proven educational method that moves the learner to an active faith. Bringing life to faith, bringing faith to life. It seems so simple, doesn't it? And yet it is a profound, deeply engaging, powerfully empowering, and spiritually nurturing way of doing theological education, religious education. My name is Alex Chacon. I am the principal at Bishop Morris Salesian High School. Bishop Morris Salesian High School is located in the Boyle Heights community of Los Angeles. Salesian High School has a population of 475 boys from the local community. By virtue of being a Salesian High School, we are a home, a church, a school, and a playground. So we not only make sure that our students are well prepared for the rigors of college and academics, but we are also ensuring that our students become community men of integrity who give back more than they take. So you got to remember, right? So we're in chapter two. Just summarize chapter one. And raise your hand, please. Let's do this orderly, all right? Who wrote the Bible? You know, what I enjoy about, about the Credo series is that the credo framework, I mean, the credo style is, is one that provides to me um, basic kind of fundamental um, orthodox teachings. Um, it, is, it is straight from the church. It is doctrine. Um, and, and then they use examples that are, are um, new to our students, you know, fresh to our students, whether it's through poems or through psalms. Um, so that, I think, is what helps the students connect to the material. And then again, I have to add my own uniqueness and my own creativity to make sure that, you know, they're engaged and that we're just not reading words from a book. Uh, so guys, remember, for this chapter, okay, here's the introduction, all right? God is the primary author of sacred scripture. The person and message of Jesus Christ is central to the Credo series. The students will be helped to come to know Jesus more deeply and to understand his teachings more fully. For them to see that life isn't just happening, there's something blessing them. And this awareness of, wow, something is helping me get through life. I'm not doing this alone. I believe that Credo is helping, with the help of, the, of, of course, of the staff, building a foundation for these students to be good Catholics uh, men, again, workers, fathers, lawyers, doctors, whatever they want to be. And when we, can, when we, the teacher, can teach this, this content and believe it, which Credo makes it so that you understand it, so of course you can believe it, the boys are going to pick up on that. The Credo series takes as its starting point the Curriculum Framework document from the USCCB. There are six core courses and five electives. Each of the core courses builds upon and deepens the student's understanding of the concepts that are introduced in the previous courses as well as introducing new material. For example, in Core Course 1, God's Word Revealed in Sacred Scripture, the young people are introduced to divine revelation in the context of the human search for meaning. They are helped to be aware of God's revelation in the natural world, in sacred scripture, and in tradition. In Core Course 2, Son of God and Son of Mary, the emphasis is on divine revelation as God's gift of himself to us and on faith as our response to God's gift. 
Jesus Christ is named as the high point of God's revelation. In Core Course 3, the Promised One, Servant and Savior, focuses on Jesus as the one who redeems humanity. The course begins by focusing on how, in the book of Genesis, God's plan for us begins to be revealed. The course then goes on to describe the unique role that Jesus had in that plan. When we uh, started looking into finding a textbook series that would help us align our curriculum to the bishop's frameworks. We wanted to explore the different possibilities that are available. What we were looking for was a good, strong adherence to the bishop frameworks, but it organized in a way that it would be meaningful to our students and assist our teachers in kind of putting a conceptual framework around that material. What I found very appealing, and I think our, our department members found very appealing, was it's new. It's it not just rearranged. And the, that framework of putting it within the Christian praxis and allowing students time for their own personal reflection is a really invitation, but a nice balance of content. So that was great. Uh, what about a story we told last week, two weeks ago? I like the way how it's very color coordinated and it's easy to use and understand. Because of the way the book is um, put together, I love that it's color coordinated. I love the way the book is teacher and student friendly. Reason being is it's student friendly because of the way it's broken into its chapters and it's not just one chapter, but it's broken up the same way throughout the, all, throughout the whole book. Each chapter is divided into five sections. Attend and reflect, hear the story, embrace the vision, think it through, and judge and act. The opening pages of each chapter give a visual overview of the contents that will be covered in that chapter. These pages are particularly relevant to students who are visual learners. So that's student friendly and it's teacher friendly. It gives clear directions on almost how to teach the lesson and what to teach the lesson and also the resources that come with that section alone. I think it's very helpful to have the image in the beginning of every chapter that outlines the whole chapter with using as little words as possible and just using the images and the mix of words to outline everything. I'm a big art guy, so uh, for me, in the textbooks, the art that is used and, and the photographs that are used, I think they're, they're pretty up to date. Uh, very modern, uh, the artwork especially, I really like, you know, I, I like to, to project some of the pieces of art that are used in the book and I ask the students to, to look up the, the background of, of the art, what does it mean to them, what would the Catholic Church say about it, but more importantly, how do they use it in their own lives, how could that piece of art help remind them of something we learned in the chapter. I log on to the website on a weekly basis, if not more, to prepare my lesson plan. And then at that time is when I scroll through the areas where the teachers have shared different ideas and concepts and, and so forth. And again, I, I read and that makes me, helps me think and helps me prepare. Uh, so I find that to be a valuable resource. I use the website uh, almost every day in, in class. The only time I don't use it is when we're testing. But I use it for every section. I use the, the resources uh, that, are, that are there for the chapter and for the section. Uh, and then it's passed on to the, to the students so they can also use the same resources. The online community is a great resource for teachers. It's so versatile. You, you can kind of create your curriculum and share it with others. And not just at your own campus, you're able to see what teachers are doing uh, at other schools and incorporate lessons and connections into your own work. First thing we're going to go over is the definition of the word grace. The, the IT resources I use the most are definitely the test banks. I use the PowerPoints for every chapter. Uh, I might modify them a little bit. I add some definitions for sure. I can actually add to the slide because Credo doesn't have it locked in. It, it can be modified and I do appreciate that. I use some of the worksheets um, and, and definitely the, the tests, the, the assessments. Uh, once in a great while I use the videos that have to do with the testimonies from, from the young people. Those Sometimes the boys can really relate to those, so those are good to use too. I 
the end of every chapter, Credo has a prayer service. I find that it's very beneficial. You know, our kids are troubled. We don't really know what's in their heart all the time. It's a nice part of the book to have that it includes a specific prayer for that chapter. Using the Credo series, what I found with the boys is that they're able to vocalize what's going on in their heart. Uh, this series that we have couldn't have been any better for us. For, for myself, uh, Credo has really does balance uh, the theory, the, the content with the ideas of, of judging and acting and uh, all the topics that, that Credo uses for the books. It really has solidified for me my own faith. What I enjoy about the Credo series is that it's fundamental Catholicism 101. The versatility and while still having that clear adherence to the bishop's frameworks and, and price. Credo won us over in how the formatting and, and, and how friendly it, it can be for teacher and student. We're always learning and I think Credo understands that. Credo series can be challenging because I don't know everything <laughs> and I have learned from the textbook. It really is an approach which will help our young people feel more connected to God and better able to answer the challenges that face them. My teaching ability, my teaching skills, I believe, have developed with the Credo Series. This was a real fundamental look at what was being asked in the Bishop's Framework and delivering it um, in a novel way. Credo is a part of me. It's not just what I do from 7.30 to 3.30, it's, it's how I live.